Hello! This week, the government in Wales reduced the speed limit in urban areas from 30 miles an hour, 48 kilometers an hour, to 20 miles an hour, that's 32 kilometers an hour. And the point of this video is to ask if you think this is a good idea or not. Now, I'm in Germany at the moment, and often I find that I, uh, well, I like to drive off the motorways, because if you drive on the motorways, it's fast, but you don't see anything, so I drive on country roads, and in many of the smaller towns, you come to places where the schools, and there's a 30 kilometer an hour speed limit. And often even in towns, there's a, 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 a 30 kilometer an hour speed limit. Sometimes it's what they call voluntary. And if it's voluntary, I do it. And at other times, it's obligatory. Anyway, it seems to work. Uh, so what about doing it in urban areas completely in the United Kingdom? So uh, if you're driving through Cardiff or Swansea, for example, then this might be a bit of a problem because it's going to slow down uh, the traffic. And this is clearly going to have an economic cost because places like Tesco's or Sainsbury's, they need to get their food delivered to them relatively quickly. And this, if it, if it comes slower, then it's going to cost more at the uh, on the shelves uh, it's only be a fraction uh, a tiny fraction but all these tiny fractions add up and as far as this is concerned there's also another problem and that is uh, drivers there's already a shortage of drivers particularly in the HGV sector and the average age I believe of an HGV driver average is 57 so people who are now almost ready for retirement uh, and that makes up uh, the average age. Um, I've been thinking about this and I think I might have a bit of a solution, but um, correct me if you think I'm completely wrong on this one. Now, I believe that the point of a speed limit is not so much a speed limit, but it's a stopping time uh, request. How long does it uh, take you to stop? Now, when I was one of these weirdos that uh, drove cars, um, I, I, I think I could stop the Mercedes I used to have in the far off days when I had a car uh, much quicker than I can stop the uh, motorhome I'm now driving in. Obviously, this motorhome weighs a lot more. Would it be a good idea to have different uh, speed limits for different weights? Now, uh, you're thinking, OK, but that's all very uh, well and good. But if you're on a road and there is a vehicle in front of you going at 20 miles an hour, you have to do 20 as well. Yes, that's true. That's absolutely true. There's no doubt about that. So it won't make any difference. But in the larger cities where perhaps there are maybe two or even three lanes, then then if the slower moving traffic's in one, the faster moving traffic's in another, uh, then uh, perhaps that would keep things going. Now, I do believe, of course, that the law should be simple because otherwise it's, mo it's more and more difficult to enforce. But how about this one? Vehicles up to, say, two tons, I'm just picking this some arbitrarily, could still do 30. Whereas people like me, uh, who are uh, in a motorhome, or people who are delivering things to Sainsbury's, would still do 20. Would that work as an idea? I don't know. I don't know how easy it is to enforce. I'm just saying this as somebody who knows absolutely nothing about the situation. But anyway, I bet you know nothing about the situation as well. So that makes you ideally uh, qualified to make a comment on this. So let me know what you think. And then we'll let the appropriate uh, minister in the uh, parliament uh, know about what the results were. And they may act accordingly. Or alternatively, they'll just ignore it. Thanks for watching.